Just by looking at various animals, you may not be able to understand what dangers they can pose to your life. Some animals are poisonous, whereas others are ferocious carnivores capable of devouring a person in just a few minutes. Today, we'll find out why touching wild animals can be dangerous. But first, take a moment to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing stories. Dead fish still got it. Some people may think that a fish out of water doesn't pose any threat to them. Few people have an instinctive tendency to insert their finger in the mouth of a dead fish without realizing it can still crush the bones in other parts of the body. It can get its jaws on your fingers. You can see in this clip how a wolf fish completely destroyed a soda can as if it was a piece of paper. Even when the fish is decapitated, it still bites the can of coke like a living fish. You could call it a zombie fish, or maybe it was just angry at being decapitated. Being cold-blooded animals, the brains, nerves, and muscles of fish can remain alive in cold temperatures before dying from oxygen deprivation. Interestingly, the head of the fish can still swim in the water, even if it's been separated from the body, as can be seen in this clip. Almost Immortal Serpent Snakes are also deadly even after their death. In this footage, we can see that despite being beheaded, the body of the snake reacts in a manner as if it was fully intact and alive. Bodies of snakes can survive for a longer period. For getting rid of it and moving it safely, a rattlesnake was decapitated, but the aggressive body of the snake kept on moving and reacting for some time. Similarly, its crazy head will also react in the same manner as can be observed in this video, and the decapitated head is equally dangerous as it could fatally deliver a venomous bite. A snake's head primarily serves as a container for its venom and fangs. Even after its body has been chopped off, it can still bite and inject someone with venom. Rattlesnakes mind their surroundings and sometimes react viciously even after being decapitated. Bursting Whale Recently, a video from Taiwan showing a whale exploding has been circulating on the internet. The body of a 17-meter-long sperm whale was being transported on a truck to Tanawan at southern Taiwan's National Chiang Kang University for an autopsy. Meanwhile, its 60-ton belly ruptured due to internal decomposition, and the whale exploded when it was being unloaded on the beach. Parts of a whale can spread up to 250 meters away in the air. The same logic can be applied to the carcasses of hippos and elephants. One such incident was recorded on camera when a group of Indian villagers decided to skin a dead elephant for an autopsy. The elephant burst open 20 minutes into the skinning. It happened due to the gases that had gathered in the body. Leopard Seal Leopard seals are found in the wild and primarily feed on penguins. In 2003, one of these creatures attacked a marine biologist during a snorkeling expedition off the coast of Antarctica. Kirsty Brown, the victim, was dragged underwater by a leopard seal. Efforts were made to resuscitate her, but unfortunately, she could not survive. That's why people need to be incredibly cautious while navigating the waters. Poison Dart Frog This frog is the one you cannot touch. As per researchers, poison dart frogs are among the most poisonous animals on the planet. They're just an inch in size, but packed with sufficient toxins to kill an adult simply by touch. These frogs are found in dozens of different species and of colorful patterns in different areas. They are mostly found in the forests of Colombia. Komodo Dragon Komodo dragons are known to be the biggest and extremely dangerous species of lizards. They may resemble crocodiles, but have a special kind of venom that, upon biting the victim, swiftly decreases its blood pressure. The venom injected into the victim's body is sufficient to kill it. Komodo dragons are 3 meters long and weigh more than 300 pounds. They possess a thick skin, strong muscles, and sharp teeth like a shark. King Cobra King Cobra is the animal with whom no one would like to fiddle. In this clip, you can see that it's trying to ignore the human, but it does not allow it to cross its personal space and attacks as soon as he crosses the limit. King Cobras are 3 to 4 meters long and are known to be the largest poisonous snakes. They're mostly found in Southeast Asia and can be recognized by looking at the neck flap raised head, hissing and puffing. The venom of the King Cobra is sufficient to initially paralyze and slowly kill a fully grown elephant within just a few hours. Blue Ringed Octopus It may be your desire to touch this colorful blue ringed octopus, but it can cost you your life as it is extremely poisonous. Their venom is a thousand times more lethal than cyanide. On sensing the presence of a predator or threat, Blue Ringed Octopus lights up the surface of their skin in attractive blue rings, as can be observed in this clip. 
Indian Red Scorpion Indian Red Scorpions don't go looking for trouble, but they prove to be dangerous once touched or provoked. They are among the most lethal animals of their species and have a very unpleasant sting. They are four inches long and usually feed on lizards and cockroaches. They are native to South Asian countries like India, Pakistan, Nepal, and Sri Lanka. Bullet Ant Bullet ants live in tropical rainforests of Central and South America and are unique in that they nest in the ground in colonies of around 3,000 individuals, absolutely enormous numbers by ant standards. They are smaller in size but of strength comparable to an alligator. They can combat any predator using a pair of mandibles that can grasp and crush with sufficient pressure to immobilize the adversary. Because their cities are so large, they are prime targets for large predators that know that a humongous ant mound is chock full of nutritious larvae, pupae, and adults concentrated in one place. In addition to the risks at home in the ant nest, the individual ants forage mainly in the forest canopy where they face squadrons of predatory birds, lizards, frogs, monkeys, and other insects and spiders. Slow Loris This cute bundle of joy called Slow Loris is immensely poisonous. Slow lorises are among the endangered animals and possess a poison as powerful as that of a cobra. Even their unintentional bite can cause an anaphylactic shock which can be followed by death. They reside in the wild regions of Southeast Asian countries. A pygmy slow loris can hang still from a branch for hours if necessary. This skill is facilitated by extravascular bundles in its arms and legs called retia mirabilia, which allow blood to flow to its extremities so it doesn't experience pins and needles from lack of circulation. Cone Snails Those who have a hobby of collecting seashells must avoid touching cone snails. They are known to have a hard and textured shell. They are highly toxic as they have venom glands along with needle-like teeth that they use to attack victims or predators leading to paralysis. On being provoked, cone snails can sting humans. Cape Buffalo it's said that if you mess with a bull, you get the horns. Cape buffalo are very easily provoked, and most likely they will attack instantly on sight. It's also called the Black Death, as hardly anyone can survive a fully enraged buffalo's attack. You can observe in this clip how severely a lion is overpowered and brutally beaten by a ferocious buffalo. Stonefish You need to mind your surroundings, as stonefish could prove to be the most dangerous sea animal in the water. They're sneaky and also merciless. They have dorsal fins with fangs on the surface skin along with glands that are used to inject venom. They are able to camouflage themselves so well you may not be able to see them and might accidentally stumble on them and get stung as can be seen in the footage. The release of venom corresponds to the pressure applied. Stonefish are found near coral reefs in rivers, generally in the tropical Pacific and Indian Oceans. Porcupine no one would like to touch a porcupine due to its spines, which can be raised instantly and used as a defensive weapon. These quills are 14 inches long and cover them from head to back. Predators usually harm themselves when they try to attack a porcupine. In this footage, you can see a leopard attempting to target this spiny creature who manages to escape unhurt. Hooded Pitahui It may be difficult to believe that a bird can be poisonous. However, hooded pitahui is venomous as highlighted by a researcher from the California Academy of Sciences. While studying different bird species, he found that hooded pitahui was a poisonous bird. During the process of capturing it, he put his finger instinctively in its mouth, which had been stung by the bird. His mouth started to feel weird. Inquiry from the locals indicated that the bird was poisonous. Research levels that these toxins helped the bird with grabbing prey and fighting against parasites. Funnel Web Spider The Sydney Web Spider is a venomous spider species and is found in eastern Australia. Its male is believed to be the most dangerous spider in Australia and can cause death within 15 minutes. It is a large, black, aggressive spider that has big, powerful fangs. It resides in burrows or crevices and rocks or around house foundations. It resorts to lining the burrows with silk. It can cause serious illness. However, the lethal dose of venom in humans is not known. Portuguese Man of War Portuguese Man of War is usually mistaken for jellyfish. It possesses numerous venomous microscopic nematocysts which are capable of delivering a painful sting that can kill a fish. It's also known to occasionally kill humans. It relies on its feeding tentacles to sting and paralyze small fish, pelagic, crustacean, and other invertebrates. Its sting causes welts on exposed skin. Bears 
In the wild, bears are the most commonly sighted animals and it's not easy to escape if you encounter one. They can climb, run faster than humans, and pack sufficient muscles to break anything. Black bears are not as tough and powerful to dodge, but polar bears are furious and hunt the prey till the end. Sea urchins Sea urchins are much smaller as compared to stonefish but are extremely spiky. They're found on the seabeds of shallow water. They grow from 1 to 4 inches. They have a mouth at the bottom of their body and are protected by many calcium carbonate plates. They have long, sharp spines which can cause painful puncture wounds and some of them can inject venom. Symptoms of venom-injected victims include numbness and pain. Their spines are not very strong, therefore can easily break up and get stuck and can even pierce deeper into the skin. Northern Stargazer Fish Northern stargazers are capable of electrocuting their victim or provoking predators. They have organs designed to generate and transmit an electric shock. They bury themselves shallow on the seabed, whereas only their mouth and eyes are exposed. When prey passes by, they ambush it. Northern stargazers grow from 20 to 22 inches in length. They're found at depths of 37 meters from North Carolina to New York. The Kissing Bug the kissing bugs are insects that feed on the lips of their hosts. They appear and multiply rapidly. When the temperature rises, they search for hosts to feed on. Like mosquitoes, they also find their hosts through the scent of carbon dioxide and light. Human beings are considered to be the perfect hosts and these bugs attempt to feed by biting on their lips. During this process, they can inject the parasite that resides in their rectum, which can cause a life-threatening disease called Jagus disease, and its symptoms include mild pain, swelling, and headache. Giant Hornets Giant hornets are among the most terrifying wasps. They carry venom which they inject upon stinging the victim's skin. The venom destroys red blood cells. These wasps are also known to attack honeybees. Initially, a single wasp enters a bee territory, leaving behind a special type of scent from its glands, which serves as a signal for other wasps to follow. Bees cannot withstand the assault of wasps as they are capable of destroying beehives within no time. Dingo the dingo is Australia's wild dog. It is an ancient breed of domestic dog that was introduced to Australia, probably by Asian seafarers, about 4,000 years ago. Its origins have been traced back to early breeds of domestic dogs in Southeast Asia. They move and hunt in packs with an amazing level of teamwork. They closely resemble dire wolves. Usually, dingoes try to avoid confronting humans, but they can be unpredictable and attack humans. They can be far more aggressive than normal dogs. Why no one should touch a dead camel This is a picture of a decapitated camel lying apparently lifeless in the desert, but what happens when someone tries touching it? Firstly, touching a dead camel is a really bad idea. These animals are referred to as the ship of the desert, and sometimes people get the wild idea of extracting the water from a dead camel's hump. A lost traveler once discovered a dead camel, and because he was starving and thirsty, he decided to cut up the camel and extract water. But that didn't work because when an animal dies of starvation, the body prevents lipid metabolism, so the body fat eventually breaks down to gases like methane. The water in the carcass is not digested, and the microorganisms in it slowly decompose and ferment into carbon dioxide and other flammable gases. The dead camel eventually becomes drier and thinner because of the gas formation, causing the body to inflate, and when someone touches it, the body will explode. Which one of these animals did you find most frightening? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications for more.